Hi guys, this is Mike and Aga. We're back with another video and we have another piece from the 50s that we'll be restoring and showing you all the steps. Okay guys, let's get to it. So if you see our previous video, you know, we start with assessing the damage on the whole piece, kind of working out uh, what needs to be done and planning how we want to get it done all together. The front drawers are solid wood, so we're gonna definitely do some stain. Unfortunately, one of them has some holes. It looks like, <laughs> for whatever reason, they've put the drawer pulls previously. I don't know why, but they did. And our wood filler does not take on stain very well so we're gonna have to just fill this one up and skip it all together we're probably going to stain the three middle ones and obviously the legs and uh, it should look great we got a pretty big damage on the, on the front here on the top so we're gonna definitely have to remove it get rid of all the loose pieces straighten it as much as possible and then fill it up and some minor damages all the way around so it's a gouge here same on this corner on the back it's gonna be a lot of filling got lots of tiny scratches the back it's in really good shape considering the piece is around 70 years old and yeah another one here and again, mystery holes. Even though we're in Florida, it's not sunny today, unfortunately. I hope there's gonna be enough light and all the birds, and it seems like every single helicopter and a plane and area decided to fly around today. So I do apologize in advance. Uh, one more thing, the drawers. They rub together, they stick, so we're gonna have to work out what needs to be done. But other than that, it's in really good shape. So it shouldn't be as hard as the last one. And I'm sure it's gonna turn out great. Okay, so we change into work clothes. We're gonna start with cleaning the whole thing with LA's Totally Awesome Oxygen Orange, which is basically a degreaser. Gonna get it nice and clean. With the piece clean, we can start filling and patching up all the holes. Our guy is going to use Dab's plastic wood, which, if you've seen the previous video, is okay, but they claim it's what does it say? There it is, sustainable. Not really. We tried many times and it doesn't work, but it works great for small holes like this or to patch up holes from the hardware. Now, this one is gonna be a bit of a different story. I'm gonna have to remove all the loose pieces to make sure there's something uh, that's gonna hold my filler, which is gonna be Bondo. And the reason I'm using Bondo is it is much stronger than plastic wood and since this is the front of the piece there's a big chance somebody's gonna bump it or lean on it and plastic wood might just crack and fall off this one is probably gonna be stronger than the original piece of wood or particle board i should say okay so we're gonna get to it Okay, so I cleaned out all the loose pieces. It actually goes pretty deep. I'm not sure if you can see. This one is not so bad. There's a bulging piece right here. I'm gonna try and take like two pieces of wood and some clamps and clamp it together before I apply Bondo, just to make sure it goes as low as possible. I don't think it's gonna be perfectly straight, but it's gonna, it should be better. I got finished filling up all the holes and dings and scratches on the whole dresser. 
the first layer of bundle is dry so I'm gonna have, I have to add another layer probably actually might need two more but then once it's filled up I'm gonna remove those and then we can sand it back into shape I think the bulge is gone it looks pretty straight we're gonna see if it holds when I take the clamps off It's been a while, most of the wood filler is um, dry. Some of it is still not ready yet. Um, the bundle is drying as well. Mike is gonna do some editing and um, I'm just about to um, do some sanding with our Hyper Tough um, $15 sander from Walmart <laughs> and 220 and 60 grid papers. Two layers of bondo was actually enough. We got a couple of small holes that we can just use the plastic wood to fill them up. That's not a problem. Came out really nice. The bulge is gone. So I'm really happy about it. I just finished sanding the dresser and the drawers. These three, three and legs will be stained. So I sanded them with um, 60 grit paper and then 220. The rest of the drawers with the dresser are going to be painted. Um, this is how the front looks like. I think we did a pretty good job. There's a little crack here. I'm gonna fix that too and I've cleaned it up, cleaned the insides with the LA's totally awesome degreaser. Next steps are um, I'm gonna be staining the three drawers and four legs and then I'm gonna be masking the six ones, the six drawers for painting. I'm gonna be using um, this Varathane um, special walnut wood stain. I've got my gloves I've got my paper towel, that's what I usually use. And I'm gonna get started.
we have one more touch up left which I was supposed to do before we painted but I forgot uh, the bottom drawer on the first glance it looks okay but when you when we start opening them it rubs tiny bit over here and there's a bigger gap over here and what I've seen so far somebody's put a small shim or like a pin and there's none on this side I think it's just a tiny bit too high so I'm gonna try and hammer it in and if it doesn't work I'm just gonna glue a tiny bit smaller shim and we're gonna see if it fixes it simply removed it and it looks really straight now so Thanks for watching guys, we hope you liked the video. If you did, please consider subscribing, liking and leaving a comment down below. So let's talk money on this one. We picked it up on Facebook Marketplace for $60, which was a little bit more than we were hoping to pay for it. And the cost of materials was around $20 and it took us around 5 hours to finish it. We are going to post it online for $450 and we're gonna see how it goes. We're gonna update the description down below, so if you're interested you can come back and, and see if it's sold. Let us know in the comments if you like how it turned out and we'll see you in the next video. Bye! Bye!